Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf. I'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bar Shim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai as commanded. And um, this is going to be an in transit. And um, it's all of the spirit, you know. So whatever the spirit allows, that will I speak upon, you know. So with that being said, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of things happening all around the world. So, I mean, and this is the reason why you just got to let the spirit guide you. I mean, there's so much things to talk about, you know, and we, we, we in the time of feeding the sheep, as the Lord said, he told Peter, Peter is the head of the church, you know, to, um, he told Peter three times to feed the sheep. You know, he told Peter, Peter, uh, love is thou me, feed my sheep. So we, 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 uh, we, we like-minded, you know, we come in that same stead to feed the sheep. The Lord said in, um, uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter, at the 17th verse. You know, as a matter of fact, let me just go to it and get it. You know, the Lord say, um, you've made us a, a watchman unto the house of Israel, man. The, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage and, uh, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are the Israelites. And the men of the Lord, the prophets, are sent unto you to warn you, to give you warning, to repent that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You know, turn back from your evil way, O backsliding Israel. Okay, this is uh, Ezekiel, the third chapter and the 17th verse. It says, the 17th verse, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Therefore, here... The word at my mouth and give them warning for me. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, okay, Bashim Yahushai said to give you warning, man. Give you warning of the things that's happening, the things that's coming on the earth, the things that's written in the scriptures to come, the prophecies. Give you warning. Get yourself ready. Fortify your mind, okay? Fortify your mind for the times that you're coming in. Okay, you have to fortify your mind. How do you do that? By changing your mind, by repenting from your old, evil, wicked ways. Turning back to the Lord. The Lord doesn't need to be corrected. The Lord does everything right. He doesn't need to be corrected. He knows what's best for you. He knows that you shouldn't eat pork because it, 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 it slowly destroys you. A po pork is a bottom feeder. It feeds off of the ground. You ever heard the term, you are what you eat? So the pork, where if a, if a pork, if a, if, a, if, a, if a pig come across a dead body somewhere on the ground, he's gonna eat that. He's gonna eat the carcasses. And if you eat the pig afterward, you eat what the pig ate. Okay, you are what you eat. All right. The law doesn't make mistakes. All right. The law tell you say you ain't you ain't supposed to sleep with your with, 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 with another man's wife. Why? Because if you do that, you humble in her, and she she belongs to somebody else. Okay, you 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 gonna pollute her land. You're gonna pollute her land. You don't wanna do that. Okay? Because you're breaking the Heavenly Father's law by doing that. That's wicked. Okay, the Lord knows what's best for you. That's why He take it and written and written and written in, in a book for you to give you, to show you uh the right from wrong, the right way from the wrong way. You know, He gave you these these books for you to read. The Proverbs, you know, the Psalms. The prophets, all of these different books is here for you. The revelation for you to see these prophecies, man. Okay? 
it's all written in the book, man. As a matter of fact, another scripture comes to mind. Let me go and get it inside the Apocrypha. All right? The book of Baruch. Right? Let's get that real quick and bring it out. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, and verse 1. And it reads, This is the book of the commandments of God. Okay? The Mosai Yahweh. All right? The Heavenly Father. And the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. You see? So the most I don't make mistakes, man. And the, and the Bible doesn't contradict itself. It's telling you that if you come to these scriptures, you could find salvation. Okay? You could find salvation. Actually, that's in the, 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 the book of uh, 2 Timothy, the third chapter. Okay, I'll jump in here at the 14th verse where it says, But continue thou the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Verse 15 it says, And, and that from a child thou hast known that thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, which is in our Lord. Okay, through these scriptures you could come to salvation, man, is able to make you wise. Okay? The scriptures doesn't contradict itself, man. This is the work of the Lord, man. Holy men spake as they were moved. Okay? Men of old spake. Alright? As they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man. Alright? Yeah, this is the Most High's word, man. And the Most High word is pure. Alright? Every, the, every, the words of the Lord is pure, man. It tells us that in the book of Proverbs, the 30th chapter and the 5th verse. Okay? Faithful and true. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter and the second verse, man. Faithful and true. Okay? The scripture tells you to receive with meekness the engrafted word that is able to save your soul. Okay? So, you have to pay attention to the Lord's word, man. Because this is how you find good success. Through the Lord's word. Another scripture that comes to mind is the book of um, Joshua. The first chapter at the 8th verse. Okay? And it says, um, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Yeah, through this book, the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible, man. Okay, the Lord's Word. That's how you're going to get right. The scripture tell you Psalms 119 and verse 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed to thy word. Okay, taking heed to the word of the Lord, man. You got to be occupied in the meditation thereof, man. Tells you that inside uh, 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 Ecclesiastes. Let's get it. The, ninth, the 39th chapter. Let's go back to the Apocrypha. And let's get that. This is Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach. Okay. Ecclesiastes, otherwise... Ecclesiasticus, otherwise known as Sirach, in the Apocrypha, and the very first verse it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. Yeah, you want to be occupied in prophecies, man, because why? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, his testimony is the spirit of prophecy, man. It tells you that in Revelation, the 19th chapter, the 10th verse, okay, is, is the prophecies. Okay, this is why we're here to give you the warning. This is why we're telling you destruction is coming. Okay, destruction is coming. We're living in a time of uh, uh, great perils, man, and danger. Second Timothy, the third chapter, the first verse. And this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. When you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous. And we in this time, you don't see that they trying to give you the stabbing jab, the snake oil, the dragon juice. They forcing you to take the Vanessa by mandates. Okay, the scriptures say, woe unto, woe unto thee that, de that decree unrighteous decrees and right grievousness which they have prescribed. So they writing these draconian type laws, legislation to force you to get a jab, man, force you to shoot that jump shot. But if you don't have the spirit of the Lord rested upon you, you you're going to bow, man. Okay, and that's just a prelude to what they want to do. To, 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 what they really want to do is electronically tag you. Okay, 
They want, they want ultimate raw power. They want full control by you taking that all that is speaking of, spoken of in the book of uh, Exodus. Uh, what is that? Exodus, the twenty-first chapter. Okay, that all they want to, they want to own you, man, and make you a perpetual slave. Okay. The Lord is gonna disown you if you if you if you get if you take the MOTB. Because the scripture speaks about it, man. Let's go to it real quick. The book of Revelation. It warns you of these things. And see, this is why you have to search the scriptures. The scripture tells you to St. John, the fifth chapter, the 39 verse, it says, search the scriptures. Okay? So that's what it tells you to do, man, to search the scriptures. As a matter of fact, let me jump in real quick before I get revelation. Because see. You have to realize that this book brings life, man. The Holy Scriptures bring life. And you have to search the Scriptures to see that. If the Lord uh, put His Spirit upon you, you know, to see that. And uh, the Lord bless you with that eye south. Revelation uh, 3 and 18. So you can see with spiritual lens and see what's going on, man. This is the book of St. John, the 5th chapter and the 39th verse. It says, Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Yeah, this is red letter. This is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Why? Because the Lord said he come in the volume of the book. The whole book is written of him for uh, about his coming. When he came and lived on the earth, the scriptures say, because uh, one of the one of the Lord's title is is the word, the word of God. That's one of our Lord's title. Okay, and the scripture tell you, Saint John, the first chapter and the fourteenth verse, and the word was made flesh. Yeah, the word was made flesh. Our Lord came and walked on the earth, man. The, the word of the Lord was made flesh. Okay, it says, search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. Yeah, the, the scripture, the scripture tells you, man. All right. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7. I come in the whole volume of the book. The Lord, Yahweh shall I come in the whole volume of the book. Psalms chapter 40 and verse 7. The Lord say he come in the whole volume of the book. Okay? You find that in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. The Lord say he come in the volume of the book, man. So you have to search the scriptures because it's all about prophecies. It says measure the time diligently in 2nd Ezra, the, uh, the ninth chapter. Okay? Beginning at verse 1 where it says measure the time diligently within itself. Okay, when and when thou seest part of the signs come to pass, then shalt thou will know that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. Okay, so that's going into prophecies, man. Things spoken of over 2,000 years ago and coming to pass today. Prophecies been coming to pass. You know, we went into slavery. That's something that was prophesied. Okay, World War I, World War II, they was prophesied. World War Three is going to happen. That is prophesied. Okay, it's going to happen. So there's true prophecies. Okay, and it's prophesied the uh, 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 the MOTB, the mark of the beast, man, that they want to electric electronically tag you. All right, so let's go there and read it, and we're gonna get ready to close out. Okay, uh, this is the book of Revelation, showing you this is why you gotta search the scriptures. Okay, so you could know and be warned against these things. The men of the Lord, is, the men of the Lord, are out on the highway and the byways and warning you of these things that's to come. So you're not going to have excuses in, in, in that day because the scriptures speak about, the scriptures speak about uh, this word going out into all the earth and then shall the kingdom of heaven come, man. Okay? Uh, this is Revelation, the 13th chapter, beginning at the 16th verse and it says, and he calls it all, ooh, ooh, and he calls it all, the wicked, those that are in rulership, the elite, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? And that, it says, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, all right? And when you go into this word mark in the Greek, it is karagma, which means an engraving, an incision, or an implant. It's something physical that is going to be planted in you, okay? It's something physical that's going to be planted in you. So this is why you, you, you need to be warned against this. Okay? You need to be warned. Okay? And, and, and you're not going to have excuse in that day if, if you take this. Okay? You're not going to have no excuse. All right? Because the word of the Lord went out. Okay? The word of the Lord went out, man. Okay, that's why the scripture tell you in Matthew chapter 24 and verse, what's that, 14, it says, And this gospel shall be preached to all, to all the world, throughout the world, roughly paraphrasing, okay, and then shall the kingdom come. So you ain't going to have an excuse. You heard this word before. It says, 
It says, let me read 17 again. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So it's a number. It's tri sty stigma in the Greek, which means six, six, six hundred, sixty and six. Okay? Verse 18, it says, Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. Now, it's a consequence for taking that, for taking that, uh, that, 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 um, uh, Marcus, Marcus Sorellis, man. <laughs> the MOTB is a consequence for that. I'm going to read it and I'm going to close out with that. This is the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, beginning at the ninth verse. Okay? Beginning at the ninth verse. And it reads, so there is a consequence for taking that, 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 that thing there, man. That, that, that mark, man, that mark of Sorellus. It says, Revelation 14 and 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Yeah. Verse 11 says, and, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and, and, and whosoever receive it, the mark of his name. So yeah, hey, with that, hopefully you're edified. You know, hey, I might call this one, um, 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 search the scriptures, man. You know, search the scriptures. You know, for, you, you, hey, you've been warned, man. You know, you've been warned. Search the scriptures, man. All right, with that, Shalom.